Hey everyone, Brian at Soco Customs. Thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. In the past, I've done some pretty technical videos and Josh told me if I was going to do those again, I had to wear this lab coat to warn you that it's about to get nerdy up in here. And we're dealing with truck wheels where Offset isn't just a hip hop artist. So we get a ton of questions on offsets and wheel measurements on each of our videos. Uh, we post those build videos and walk around so that people can get a visual representation of what each of these trucks will look like with each kind of stance. But what does offset mean? How does it relate to backspacing? Why do wheel companies tell you they're offset while lift companies tell you they're required backspacing? This is a measurement that gives a ton of people a headache. The first question when customizing suspension is, can I do this myself with a few buddies in my garage? But when it comes to mixing and matching wheel measurements and making sure you don't finish the lift and have a truck that can't roll, that's always no bueno. Before I really got involved in this industry, I would look at the spec sheets for wheels and immediately be overwhelmed and just give up. So there are three measurements that professionals in our industry are really looking at. That is the diameter, you've got the width of the barrel, and the offset. Yeah, we have to be concerned about bolt patterns, but most manufacturers will have a wheel that is drilled to your specific truck. So for example's sake, I've grabbed a 20 by 10 wheel off of our wall. A 10 wide is pretty easy because it's a nice even number. Offset is measured from the center of this barrel, so if you look at the wheel this way, you find the middle point, right, right down center, which is your zero offset at five inches. That would mean that this wheel has five inches of backspacing because backspacing is measured from the back of this wheel to where the wheel mounts on the hub. Does this make sense? So now let's talk about positive and negative offsets. Moving this mounting surface towards the back of the wheel, which decreases your backspacing, that is a negative offset. You're subtracting or minusing, if that's a word, you're minusing your backspacing. By moving this mounting point towards the outside of the wheel, you're adding or plussing the backspacing. Offsets are measured in the metric system, millimeters, and backspacing is measured in the empirical system, inches. When you are converting these numbers, Keep this number in mind, 25.4. There are 25.4 millimeters in an inch. Now let's run through an example. A really popular offset for a 10 wide wheel is a minus 18 offset. 18 divided by 25.4 is about 7 tenths. So your mounting point is moved this way, decreasing your backspacing by 7 tenths of an inch. So your backspacing on a minus 18 wheel would be 4 and 3 tenths of an inch. Is that clear as mud? What does this mean for stance? So by going with a negative offset, you are decreasing the amount of backspacing, and front spacing isn't generally a word, but in my head where opposites make sense, you are increasing your front spacing. So by going more with a negative offset, you're going to push your wheels outside of the fenders more, with, and with a positive offset, you're going to give your truck more tuck. Stock trucks usually have a high positive offset because they tuck the wheels underneath the fenders a bit. This is so that they can add like 0.1 MPG to their rating and uh, apparently that is uh, important for your engineers. And uh, you're also trying not to stonewash the side of the truck because those uh, highway tires that they put on trucks from the factory, they pick up a ton of rocks. So think minus offset for poke, plus for tuck. Wide wheels and extreme negative offsets are generally going to require trimming because you are moving so much wheel and tire outside of the fenders. So as you are steering and at full crank or some articulation, you might rub on the bumper or the back of the wheel well. Okay guys, so I'm going to make the screen go black and post this formula to maybe help you guys visualize this better. It is going to be your wheel width divided by two to find your zero offset. Then you are going to divide your minus offset by 25.4 because millimeters, two inches. Now remember PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, you're going to take your zero offset number and pay attention to the direction that you're moving the offset and either add that or subtract that from the zero offset. It takes a few times doing this math and seeing how it applies outside of pen and paper to really get a visual on what's going on. But thanks a ton for watching. I hope this clears things up for you, positive or negative offsets. Uh, if all the math in this video positively gave you a headache, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, our shop is always here and uh, we can give you advice or if you just don't wanna deal with it, come see us and we'll be able to build you the truck of your dreams. Hey guys, again, thumbs up, subscribe, let us know what you'd like to hear of next or even just ask questions in the comment section below. Thanks.